Good morning, people. What a lovely day to be involved in crypto and Bitcoin, all of that sort of good stuff. I just wanted to make a quick video here on a Saturday. I don't normally make videos on the weekend, but guys, congratulations to every one of you who is still here, who still watches my videos every day. It's absolutely incredible. I can't thank you enough from the bottom of my heart for watching my videos, but what's way more important is that you were not fudded out of the market. Now, I think this is super important to pay attention to right now. The market is moving crazy fast in the upward direction, but we are still in a macro bear overall in all of the markets. So don't get FOMO. Don't start trading with emotion now. You've made it this far. Don't do that. What we've been doing on the channel anyway, or what I've been doing is slowly dollar cost averaging into what I believe in. I've been going pretty heavy on Bitcoin, some stocks, some Bitcoin miners, a few different altcoins here and there. Even just, I think two or three days ago, I made an altcoin video for undervalued gems that I thought was a potential. And all of those are up now. Of course, the market is up, but one of them, VRA, is actually up around 30% today, which is awesome, which is awesome. But that's besides the point. We don't want to be jumping in now when the market is overly euphoric. Now, I think that Bitcoin could easily run to 25K. I don't see any reason why it couldn't run that high. Right now, shorts are being squeezed like crazy. What we've been saying on the channel, don't believe the majority. If the majority of news outlets, of people on Twitter, of commenters on YouTube, all of that say that we're going to 8k or whatever, it's most likely that we're not going directly there. Now, what's happening right now? If we compare this to 2019, I've said this so many times on the channel, I was expecting a rally in this market. Where we're sitting right now is really, really similar, eerily similar to the pump that we had in 2019. So the market was euphoric and crazy end of 2017, early 2018. Early 2018 was when the altcoin market went crazy. We then went bare for about a year. 2019, Bitcoin rallied 300%. There was incredible gains to be made there on Bitcoin and in the DeFi summer, so the DeFi altcoins. And I think that there's something similar happening right now. I'm not sure what the narrative may be for these altcoins, potentially Potentially, if Bitcoin can hold now above 20,000 and we do some sideways action, I would see there to be easily a little altcoin season here and an awesome opportunity for serious gains, but no reason to be chasing huge pumps, right? We should have been dollar cost averaging when the whole market was really scared. And I know that's scary. It's a scary thing to do. I was scared. My portfolio was just down, 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 and I'm buying on the way down and it's painful. But when you try and take your emotion out of your trading and also believing in things for the long term. If you have a long term outlook on, say, Bitcoin and Bitcoin miners, that's what my highest conviction is. In, of course, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin miners, those are the highest conviction. And then, of course, some stocks like Amazon, like the S&P 500 eventually, and uh, also a little bit of Tesla, which I, you know, I picked up recently. But all of these things, we want to be getting them at discount prices. Now, Warren Buffett is always blabbering on about this, and it's having the mindset of someone who doesn't trade with emotion. And if you have bought something that's super expensive, right? Bitcoin at 69K or Tesla when it was way higher than it is right now. The reason why I'm talking about Tesla is I'm literally sitting right now at a supercharger making this video. But if you had bought it at those expensive prices, if you didn't buy it solely because the price was up and everyone was talking about it, but you bought it because you did your research and you genuinely believed in it, when the price is suppressed like crazy, like Bitcoin at 15,500, sure, it might drop down to 10K, whatever. But at those sorts of prices, that is the same asset at a massive, incredible discount. And if you plan to be around for five years and you believe that, let's say, Bitcoin is going to go above 10, uh, above 100K, then why not pick it up at 15k. Who cares if it goes down to 8k in the short term? These things are still on the card. So that's the mindset that I think people need to get into. Also, of course, not trading an emotion, not buying today and selling when everyone is crazy bearish. That's the opposite of what you want to do. I know everyone says that it's easier said than done. But use this right now. If you have been sitting on the sidelines and you were really scared, and I understand it, I was really scared in my first bear market. If you were really scared and you weren't buying anything because you were waiting for the bottom or whatever. This is proof right now that 
Nobody has a clue what's going to happen. So you need to be in high conviction plays and dollar cost averaging, in my opinion, is the best way to navigate this landscape. If you feel bad about missing out on this pump, trust me, you were never gonna perfectly time the bottom and you weren't perfectly gonna time the top. It's just not possible. Most likely what happens now, in my opinion, is we might continue up for a little bit, but we will, if we repeat what happened in 2019, give back the majority of these gains. Now, maybe Bitcoin goes on a 300% move like it did last time, but if you check the charts, we gave back almost all of those gains in 2020 before the monumental run. So there is still time in this market, no reason to be FOMOing into coins, none of that. Slowly dollar cost averaging, never ever trading with emotion. With that said, hopefully, hopefully we do continue. And any of you guys who did buy the dip, congratulations, because we have made some serious profit recently. I think Bitcoin is up over 30 or 35% since the bottom, which is amazing to see in this sort of environment. If you do want to pr practice uh, discipline and some safety, if you do want to uh, build your safety net, you could start siphoning some profits out of the market right now, hold them in stable coins and wait for an inevitable second dip that comes. Maybe, maybe the bottom is already in, maybe 20K, we won't see lower than that again for Bitcoin, but we just don't know. So if you do wanna be safe, you can of course take some profits. That is totally up to you. But in euphoria like now, it's not the time to be buying in my opinion. It's the time to either be sitting on your hands, not checking the portfolio, getting a bit excited, but not checking the portfolio or taking some profits to protect your downside. That way you're protected. And if the market does continue to rally, there will be other opportunities. But again, we're not gonna take profits now and then rebuy the same thing if it goes up another 20%. That's not the game plan here. If that's what your, uh, if that's what you would do, think about it. If that's what you would do, then don't take profits now. There's no reason to. Like, I'm not gonna be taking uh, profits from Bitcoin I don't think. I may take some profits from uh, my Bitcoin miners depending on how they open tomorrow because these guys have been on a crazy run recently. They were decimated, decimated crazy, crazy. I was investing uh, dollar cost averaging over the last few months into Hut8 and CleanSpark and they have been destroyed over the last few months. But because of that dollar cost averaging, I've brought my price way, way down and they move really violently when Bitcoin moves. And uh, I think I think it was Hut8 that was up 22% on Friday. Friday alone, 22%. From the bottoms, if you do check the chart, you'll be able to see the way these moves. It's absolutely crazy. So I may, I may, depending on how they open on Monday, if it opens up crazy, like if they get another 20, 30% each, I may very well siphon some profits off of that because I do believe that this macro environment of this bear market is not over yet. And at the end of the day, protecting capital is what I want to do. Now, I'm not saying to sell all your stuff and uh, sit on the sidelines. I've never said that. Just practicing what we want to do is we want to be buying in uh, extreme fear and taking profits in euphoria. So it depends on how the market progresses. Now, if we start to travel sideways, I think that's actually an awesome opportunity for altcoins and things to go on their tear. My plan was always to be heavily, heavily investing into Bitcoin because that will move first in my opinion like we're seeing bitcoin moves violently then calms down and then hopefully we see altcoins move violently and then calm down potentially giving back those gains so that's what i'm waiting for here hopefully a little bit of insight into the way i'm thinking let me know down there in the comment section what you guys are thinking do you think that uh this is just simply a relief rally squeezing out those shorts and then we're going to give back all of these gains or do you believe that this is the start of the next bull run? I'm really interested to hear what you have to say. And if you do want to come over and chat to me directly, we can talk one-on-one, -on -one, whatever you want, over on my Patreon. There's an awesome team building there. Uh, I give all of my trade insights, what I'm thinking about the markets. I spoke about Solana when it was at $11 and thinking that it was definitely beaten down too much. And now we are over $20, so 100% move since then. And uh, yeah, so if you want to come over and chat to me or the rest of the team, Link to Patreon down there in the description. Hopefully, hopefully, I have provided you value over the course of this bear market for the last year. I really do hope that we can grow and build together and everyone is excited because if this is just a quick relief rally, this gives you a quick insight as to what is possible in this market. 35% on Bitcoin uh, from those extreme lows where everyone was saying that Bitcoin is dead. And uh, this is just the possibilities of this uh, this crazy, crazy market that we're in right now. With that said, do any of you guys have a Tesla? Because this is my first time. I've had it for about uh, three weeks now. Absolutely love it. So let me know down in the comment section what you guys think. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.